Hello guys, welcome back. So I'm looking at this question from Korean SAT Math for the year 2022. The question is, for the real value x, f of x satisfies f of x cubed minus f of x squared minus x squared f of x plus x squared is equal to zero. When the maximum value of f of x is one and the minimum value of f of x is zero, what is the value of f negative four over three plus f of zero plus f of one over two? So if you look at this expression that was given from the question, we can actually rewrite this by grouping them. So we can actually group, we can pull this f of x square out from the first two terms. Then we will have f of x square, parenthesis, f of x minus one. And the next two terms, we can actually pull x square out then it has to be negative x squared f of x minus 1. This is equal to 0. So for these two terms, we have the common terms as f of x minus 1. So we can pull that out. Then we can rewrite your equation as, okay, I'll be using the bracket right here. f of x minus 1 multiply by f of x squared minus x squared. This needs to be equal to zero. But then again, the second bracket, we can actually rewrite this as f of x plus x multiply by f of x minus x. So, we have three values for the f of x. One of them is one, the other is negative x and positive x. So that's why your f of x is equal to one or x or negative x. So we have a specific value of the one right here. We have the specific value of f of x, which is one, and the other two has to be just a function. One of them is x that straight goes up, and negative x that actually goes down. So on the next slide, we will be actually putting this on the graph. Okay. So in this case right here, we can pull, we can call this as f of x of your y-axis, and we have x-axis. And we have, first of all, f of x is equal to one, that is a straight line. Okay, this is f of x is equal to one. And the other two is actually the function. One of them is positive x that goes up. The other, um, the other is negative x that actually goes down. This is. Okay, so this is the situation that we have right here. And we do know that the maximum value of f of x has to be equal to 1. That has to be right here. And the minimum value has to be equal to 0, which has to be then origin. So this is equal to 0. Okay, <clears throat> then at the same time, since we have f of x is equal to x and negative x, we have this point is equal to 1, and also this point is equal to negative 1. But then again, knowing that f of x has to have 1 as the maximum value and 0 as the minimum value, then we're talking about really this area right here. Okay, this area, and also this area, right? So we need to take a look at this red line right here for your range of f of x. Then we can actually, based on this, can talk about what has to be the value of f of negative 4 over 3. Negative 4 over 3 is actually less than negative 1, so it has to be somewhere right here. This value still needs to be equal to 1. Okay, then again, f of, f of 0. This is still equal to 0. We're talking about the origin and f of 1 over 2. 1 over 2 should be right here. That's why if you 
think about this graph of f of x, then your y value has to be also 1 over 2. That's why if you add up these three values, then it has to be equal to 1 plus 1 over 2 is equal to 3 over 2. So the question for this question is 3 over 2. So I'll be back with more videos for more questions from Korean SAT Math for the year 2022.